for using the trigonometric ratio of special angles so special angle 30 60 and 45 degree find the value of each of the following so we see here we must use the special angles and we have 150 here so we have secant 150 so here to change it to this one we need to know which uh, if it will become positive or negative so this one if you have to remember so as t c so any formula but even really I, i'd love to use like saya terlalu cantik or whatsoever so that you remember anything as long as you remember uh, this one is sine, this one is tangent, this one is cos. So, this is the area where only sine is positive, only tangent and only cos. This one is not include the secant, cosecant and, and cotangent. Sorry, cotangent. So, we know that secant is equal to 1 over cos right so 1 over cos so it will be the area of cos this one is secant so this one cos will be positive secant will also be positive so here we have cosecant cosecant is equal to 1 over sine so 1 over sine this one will be positive area same with sine so this one is cosecant positive and then cotangent to cotangent is equal to 1 over tangent so it will be the same area with tangent so this one will be we oh, always want to write okay cotangent never mind so cotangent will be positive so this is the area where uh, they will be positive so here secant 150 so here if you draw 150 is supposed to be at the second quadrant right so we have to know our reference angle here so we know different if this one is 150 this one will be 30 right so but you see here at the second quadrant secant uh, at the second quadrant only sine and cosecant is positive so secant will be negative so it will be negative secant 30 something like that so when you convert uh, the angle this one is negative so which is equal to secant is equal to cos right it will be negative 1 over cos 30 so cos 30 is equal to so cos 30 is equal to 3 over 2 so this one would be negative 1 over set 3 over 2 which is equal to negative 2 over set 3. So this one is negative 2 divided by set 3. So B cos secant 240. So we see here 240 we know that this one is 240. So 240 is somewhere in the third quadrant. So, 240 is somewhere in the third quadrant but you have to check if it is positive or negative. So, to get this, to change to different angle, you need to check. So, cos at the third quadrant, only tangent and cotangent is positive. So, cosecant will become negative. But what is this angle? So, we know this one is 240, right? So, it's equal to cosecant 240 minus 180 because this one minus 180 you will get which is equal to negative cosecant so this one is 60 but you don't have cosecant 60 right so this one is negative 1 over sine 60 so you get negative 1 over sine 60 is equal to set 3 over 2 set 3 over 2 so which is equal to negative 2 over set 3 so this one is negative 2 over set 3 c cotangent 315 is equal to so 315 so it must be this one is 270 so 316 is in the fourth quadrant so this is our reference angle. So at the fourth quadrant, only cos and secant is positive. So only cos and secant is positive. That means this one is negative.
So negative cotangent. So the angle, this one, if this one is 315, then this one is 360 minus 315, which is equal to negative cotangent 45, right? So cotangent is negative 1. Tangent 45, tangent 45 is equal to 1. So negative 1 over 1, which is equal to negative 1. So this one is negative 1. So D sine 45 plus cos 2 to 5. So sine 45 is equal to 1 over 2. And then cos 2 to 5, so just calculate here, which is equal to, so we see here cos 2 to 5 is equal to, so 2 to 5 if we draw, it is in the third quadrant, right? More than 180, less than 270. So this one is 2 to 5. So we see here it is at the third quadrant. Third quadrant only tangent and cotangent is positive. So cos is obviously negative. Cos 2 to 5 minus 180. So we get negative cos 45. So here cos 45 is equal to 1 to 1 over set 2. Negative 1 over set 2 because 45 is 1 over set 2. So this one is plus negative 1 over set 2 which is equal to 1 over set 2 minus 1 over set 2. So you will get 0. So E secant 60 so, plus 2 cos secant 30. So, secant 60 is equal to 1 over cos 60. So, cos 60 is equal to 1 over 2, right? So, which is equal to 1 over 1 over 2, which is equal to 2. So, this one is 2. And this one, cos secant 30. So, cos secant 30 is equal to 1 over sine 30 which is equal to 1 over sine 30 is 1 over 2. So 1 over 1 over 2, you get 2. So this one, secant 60, secant 60 is equal to 2, plus 2, cos secant 30 is 2. So here, 2 plus 4 is 6. So F, secant pi plus cos pi over 2. So secant is equal to secant pi is equal to 1 over cos secant pi. So we know that cos pi is negative 1. So cos pi is negative 1. So it is here which is negative 1. So this one is 1 over negative 1 is negative 1. Okay. So cos pi over 2. So cos pi over 2 is actually this one is 180, right? 180 divided by 2, B is equal to pi over 2, cos 90, which is here. So, cos 90 is equal to 0. Because sine 90 is 1, cos 90 is 0. So, this one is 0. So, this one is actually negative 1 plus 0, which is equal to negative 1.